Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Another sh player showcase today. Today we're showing off 100 control pitching, doing a pitching showcase. We got Shohei Otani starting for us on the mound today. Today we're going to take a deep dive into the control attribute and what exactly it does. If you're new around here, be sure to get subscribed and like the video for future content, tips, guides, other gameplay. Join the community discord as well. A great place to talk about the game, but let's get into it. So we see here 100 control. I'm going to go over a basic rundown of what control is. So if you look into the game, the control attribute controls the circle you see there on the pitch. So that is the range of where that pitch could end up. This is kind of like your accuracy. So it's kind of the opposite of what contact would be on the offense side. On offense contact, the higher contact rating, the larger that's your batting contact circle gets. But here, the higher control rating, the smaller that circle gets. So higher control, you get more accuracy. You can see here, right, if that circle was to be big, it could go anywhere. But now the pitch is likely to go anywhere within that white circle. And as you get tired, though, you will see that control circle increase. But now we're going to take a look at throwing down a pitch, right? It's going to go like pretty much close to where I want it to go. Now, whether or not that pitch is going to be hit for a hit, a base hit, double home run, uh, that has nothing to do with this. This just kind of tells, shows you where that pitch is going. We can see here, we're going to try to throw a couple pitches down the middle, outside corner. It goes pretty close to where we want it to go, right there, bam, straight down the middle, not too far off. So this is useful for when you want to have more accuracy on your pitches. And the thing with control is that for me, you know, it's, you don't need like a crazy insane amount of 100 control. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but we're going to still showcase off some more control here. We're going to try to see where, right, we can try to throw pitches, hit those corners. And one thing that the game will show you if you are really accurate on hitting like an outer edge corner is you will get like a plus attribute. Once again, I'm not too sure if that is for uh, the actual pitch. You see there plus five or if it's experience um haven't been able to determine that see right there again we get a nice pitch plus five no one really knows what that plus five means um if you have any theories let me know down in the comments below as we look at this control pitch once again and it is going to differ though right from pitcher to pitch from pitch to pitch if you go for a fastball, for example, right, there's little movement. But on other pitches where there's more movement, you might want to see more control. And also situationally, right, if it's a 2-0 count or an 0-2 count, maybe you want to try to throw something outside or in the dirt, see if they'll swing at it. Now, once again, I don't know how sophisticated the batting AI is in this game, so I actually... We have no idea if the pitch type, the location, the speed actually has any effect on the um, opposing batters. But like just in real life, you probably don't want to throw the same pitch over and over again in the same location. It just makes it more realistic. All right, higher control, you can switch up your pitch locations. Um, it'll go where you want it to go. As we see here, we try to get that corner, but it once again, I want to reiterate, it has no guarantee that it's not going to get Hit. Even if you throw a really high pitch, it goes where you want it to. They could still hit it for a home run. Um, just less likely, maybe, but still a possibility. Once again, we're showing off this control showcase right now. See, once again, maybe that wasn't the best place to pitch it, but it went where I want it to go, which is kind of the point I want to drive home today on control. We have the 100 control, and talking about the player upgrades and attribute upgrade wise um, control as I mentioned before it's nice to have kind of like batter's eye I do think you do need to upgrade it a little bit but having like a hundred control when the rest of your pitches are down in the 60s or 70s might not be the best because once you get to a certain level of control you know you're pretty much there if you're like a millimeter off um, on where that pitch is going to be, it's going to be close enough. So I'd rather have something like 80 control and 80 like curveball or 80 fastball, whatever your pitch is, um, 
have that kind of more balanced out but here you know i like playing just for entertainment so i like getting things to 100 just to see what it's like and just to show you guys uh what these things look like when they're up in the hundreds now 100 is not the max so you can go past 100 but it's a nice round number um for people to kind of take a look at and show off but now we are going to take a look at what happens um when you have bad control as the game goes on you also see your health bar so if your health does get too low that will also impact your control kind of like stamina right if a starting pitcher is throwing 150 pitches he's not going to have as much accuracy as much power behind that pitch as um, a starting pitcher just starting the game off so you're also going to want to keep that in mind um, the control circle doesn't matter what it is to begin with as they get more tired it will expand testing here once again just to give you guys a sense of where these pitches are going with that control attribute trying to hit that upper corner once again they can get hits off even if uh, you don't necessarily want them to let's take a look at this again gonna try a fastball corner yes and we're gonna try to hit that like plus five and also with pitching though I do want to recommend that the sensitivity also has an impact on your accuracy so play around with that in the settings you can go from all the way to really high sensitivity so if you move that stick just a bit uh, the pitch might go all over the place or really low sensitivity you're gonna have to move it more for the pitch location to change but now yep we are going to switch over and we give up a home run Right there, you see if it's a bad pitch, one of those error pitches, uh, none of your stats are going to matter. It's going to go straight down the middle, unfortunately. So now we're going to swap out our 100 control starting pitcher, Otani, for brand new recruit straight out of the minors, straight out of high school, 38 control. All right, this is going to be rough. You see the difference so far, right? That pitch, now that we got lucky, it went down the middle. But we're going to try again, and look, that pitch is way off from where we wanted it to go um but if you're trying to throw a strike you know as long as you're in the middle kind of of the strike zone it'll still be a strike somewhere you just don't know exactly where um it gets a little more difficult if you're trying to aim for like corner or edge as you see there it could go way outside the zone so for example if the count's like three two you're not going to want to you don't feel comfortable or confident with low control throwing any pitches that are significantly you know outside of the center of the strike zone because it could go anywhere and you could put yourself at a uh, risk of walking the batter but with the higher control you know as we saw before in the first clips with otani and um, showcasing his control off I feel pretty confident with 100 control if it's a full count I can throw something you know to the corners to the edges of the strike zone um, try to get the batter to kind of freeze and maybe they can think that's a ball they don't swing at it it comes back in for a called strike three but here you see here it's going to be way outside it's just not as trustworthy um, right there see I was aiming to go kind of like down and away and then the pitch ended up going <laughs> just straight down the middle um, so you do definitely have a lot of decisions to make there um, when your control isn't as high. So that's why, as I mentioned before, I would recommend you upgrading um, control a little bit. Right? You're not going to want to be stuck with 38 control. You're going to want to have at least maybe 70 or 80 as you just start out. But after that, you know, leave it at 80. That's like decent enough. And then you want to start upgrading the rest of your pitches to have a more well-rounded, balanced pitcher just for gameplay purposes. But as I said, if you're like me, you just like playing for fun, then there's no... You could also just do 100 control, 120 control just for the fun of it, just to see what it's like. But hey, quick rundown, quick showcase of control. I know it's not as flashy as speed or batter's eye or power. Those are the real fun ones, but... You know, pitching is still a part of the game. We still got to talk about it. But thanks for watching. And if you liked this video, thought it was helpful, I would appreciate a like. Get subscribed to the channel. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section or join the community Discord. That's all I have for today. Thanks. Peace.